Good morning everybody. I'm starting this vlog very quick because I have to leave like literally now but I just wanted to show you the outfit of the day quickly. I'm so out of breath because I've literally been running around like a headless chicken and I've been up since 10 past 6 this morning so I don't understand how I'm still running around but I'm just about to leave to go to my mum's house because we are going to London today. So we're actually taking my nan for her 70th birthday, which is today. We're taking her to London for an afternoon tea at the Ritz. It's something that she has always wanted to do. Why do I feel so unfit? Or well, probably because I am. I'm so out of breath. But yeah, it is something that she has always wanted to do and we are taking her. It's me, my mum and my sister taking my nan. So we have to get the train at quarter past 10 I think so I've got to leave now but this is what I'm wearing I had to go warm but also like posh because they have a dress code the Ritz and it has to be nice so because it's been snowing I also had to go for warmth so what I'm wearing is layers basically I'm wearing some tights excuse the pile of washing in the background need to tidy just haven't had time yeah I'm wearing some fleece tights from Primark I'm wearing this floral dress which is from Shein and I love this for like spring and summer but actually it's really nice for winter too if you like layer it and then I've got a cardigan on underneath which is from Princess Polly I've then got my scarf and I've got my coat um it's just my long coat from Primark and then I've got my Chloe bag. So that is the outfit of the day. I am literally gonna rush off now so quickly and get to my mum's because then we have to leave for the train station. So yeah, I'll see you there. There's the birthday girl, 70 years young. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for the train. It's flipping freezing. You can actually see snow over there on the hills. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can see it just there. What? Those hills. Oh yeah, yeah. over there. That's the what are those, the Mulvans? I wanted to escape for a while Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game Someone said your name had a ton of Back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine You're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me Better than I Know myself for oh, my It's been a while now Since I saw you But it feels like Yesterday somehow Time has stopped Just got out the bricks Nan, did you enjoy yourself? Oh, I did, I loved it. <laughs> Thank you so much. What was your favourite sandwich? Uh, I liked the ham one. Did you? Yeah, so did mustard, I. Yeah, yeah, ham and mustard. Yeah. What was yours, ma'am? I think the same. I like Yeah, that one. so did Jazz as well. And what was your favourite cake? I think cake? Add a bit of a tangent. What? I asked you. Oh my god! <laughs> Everybody, it's now the next day. Um, I don't think I vlogged anything after the afternoon tea yesterday. Um, purely because we actually didn't do a lot so as soon as the afternoon tea was over we were in a little bit of not a rush but we were on a time schedule because we'd booked a specific train back home so we finished afternoon tea i think it was around three o'clock um, we then waited for my uncle who in the last clip i think i was vlogging and he walked up to me and he went give me your camera and it made me jump so much because i was not expecting it and then obviously i turned off the camera and said hi to him and then we walked with my uncle and my nan to the theatre because they, my uncle had actually booked for Dirty Dancing for my nan to watch in the theatre as like her birthday surprise. So my nan had no idea and she was really happy with that. Um, so we walked with them. Then we literally popped into Primark for like 10 minutes on Oxford Street. It was so busy. And then me, my mum and my sister had to get a taxi to the train station and then we literally went home. So there was nothing to vlog for you. It was extremely, not, I was about to say it was extremely chaotic. It wasn't, I'm being dramatic, but there was just not anything exciting to vlog for you. So yeah, it is now the next day. We had such a lovely time at the Ritz. 
um, the afternoon tea. I would say it was really good. It's more of like a once in a lifetime kind of thing though. I wouldn't be going there like every week if you know what I mean. Um, but it was really, really nice. And I am really glad that me, my mum and my sister were able to give my nan something that she'd always dreamt of. Like she said that she'd always wanted to go there for afternoon tea since she was a little girl. So I'm really happy that we were able to do that for her. It was just really nice. And she said that it, it's something that she'll never forget. So yes, London was a success. I don't know how much I vlogged. I haven't even looked at the footage yet, but I hope that it was okay. Today has been a very chilled day. Again, not really much to vlog. I say chilled, I mean, I have done stuff. I had to film a video, I've edited, it's uploaded, ready for tomorrow. Um, although I did actually just put it live. Very spontaneous, I do this sometimes. I just think, ah, that can go up now. <laughs> why not it's 10 p.m on a saturday let's put it up now i don't know why i'm like this um i'm currently just about to blow up um callum's birthday balloon so we did just pop out that's why i've got makeup on i've got earrings in um our friend actually was having a leaving party because he's going to australia so um i popped in for an hour but i am really busy tonight so i just said i'll pop in for an hour callum can stay there and then i'll pick him up later which gives me time to prepare for his birthday tomorrow. I'm not going to OTT with it this year because we're not gonna be here for a large amount of time. So we're waking up tomorrow, going for like a lunch, um, brunch sort of thing at my parents' house. And then we're leaving straight from there to go to the spa. So we're not gonna be here an awful, awful lot. But I thought maybe like a few balloons would be nice. I've got him a cake, but I have actually dropped that off at my parents house so that we can do that tomorrow in the afternoon i got him a really nice cake i got it from m s and it was the last one on the shelf and callum is very fussy with cakes i mean he's just a fussy eater anyway um and i saw this salted caramel millionaire shortbread sort of style cake and it looked unreal and i was like you know what callum will love that and it was the last one it was a little bit pricey but i thought it's his birthday why not and i got him some number candles so he is actually 27 tomorrow which is mad i've been with him since he was 20 that's crazy isn't it so yeah i'm gonna blow up those balloons i then i'm gonna pop into the bath scrub off my tan and refake tan because i literally look like tiger bread guys i don't want to be going to the spa looking like tiger bread so i need to sort it out tonight and that is literally the plan for today what well, tonight but i thought i would just jump on because i didn't want there to be like a a gap like i didn't want to not speak to you today and then be like hello everyone it's now callum's birthday so i just thought i'd jump on and say the plan and i will see you in the morning happy birthday to you happy birthday to me <laughs> good morning everybody it is the 12th of March. Don't know why it took me so long to figure that out because it's Callum's birthday. And we are getting ready to go to my parents and then we are going for a spa evening. Yeah, baby. Are you excited? No. <laughs> Can't be asked really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So um, yeah, we're just about to go to my parents' house because we are having a little bit of food and then we're gonna be there for a few hours and then we're gonna leave from there to go to the spa. It's about an hour and a half away. So the spa that I've booked is called a Modishal Oak. So I'll link it down in the description box below, but it looks incredible. I'm so excited to go there. It looks beautiful. It's actually near, um, like in the area of Alton Towers if you've ever been to the theme park. And yeah, I was just Googling like really nice spas and places like like that it took me ages but then I settled on that one because I was like that looks like the best one they do a really nice evening package and I'm really excited we do get treatments as well so I can't wait for a massage and Callum's excited for a massage too so it's going to be a really lovely day and um, we've literally had a slow morning this morning we had a little bit of a lie-in and now we're going to have a little bit of food at my parents house and yeah, that is the plan for today. I'll just show you the outfit I'm wearing. I'm going like smart cash because that is the dress code for dinner at the spa because we have got dinner included as well. So this is the outfit. I'm wearing um, my scarf as usual because it's still freezing. I'm wearing a little body um, 
what is this called bodysuit from Primark it's just like a little bit of a high neck one you can't really see because of the scarf then I'm wearing this jacket which I got from Primark the other week which I love it goes with so many different outfits and then my car goes from Primark as well and then I'm gonna wear my Tasman's I'm gonna pop my hair up a little bit later on when we get to the spa because I don't really want to get it wet um, and then for makeup I'm literally wearing minimal makeup I'm just wearing a little bit of foundation um i've used my foundation as concealer i love doing that recently and then i've literally just glued my eyebrows and popped on some false eyelashes which i love these ones at the minute and i don't know where they're from so i'm really gonna have to figure out where i got these from because they are so nice they just look like eyelash extensions i love them really like natural and wispy already I'm in love with the decor look how cute this is look how beautiful this place is are you happy yeah it's nice isn't it wow it already feels really zen we're just gonna go to the uh, lounge bar get a drink I just thought I would jump on and end today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed spending a couple of days with me. I've had such a lovely weekend. I can't even explain it to you. That spa evening was incredible. I really highly recommend that spa if you are local. It does take a little drive to get there. Like in total, it's a three hour round trip, but we are definitely going back in the summer. We actually want to stay over. We were looking at their spa packages, like their breaks. And I think we might go back there in the summer because it was so nice, such a pretty area, such a pretty place. I love the, I think they call it the Vitality Pool, um, which is the outdoor one, but it's like a big hot tub and it was just amazing. They have poolside service. So like you could have, I had a cup of tea in the pool. Um, Callum had a beer. It was just so nice. And then I had a smoothie a bit later on, which was amazing. Coconut, strawberry and pineapple, I think it was. But I can just imagine it in the summer being absolutely incredible i mean it was incredible even in the winter so yeah 
I really recommend. I'll pop them in the description box below. But I loved it and so did Callum. He had a really, really nice birthday, which I was happy with. So if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a like. Also subscribe if you're new. We would love to have you stick around. And I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Love you guys so much. Bye.